Hey there everyone, this is Steve here, and I'm here with a video which is going to be a video game update for July 2014. I made a stop to a flea market and got myself some games, uh, two of them for the same system and two others for a different system, as you can tell by the way, see these games right here. So these are the ones I got, but I have another one that I'm going to show you, but this one I'm going to save for last. Anyway, let's start with the first one that I got. I got Winter Olympic Games. It's a Sega game, as you know. I know, I think I think I had played this before, back in the day. It's like Winter Olympic Games and stuff, like Biathlon, Speed Skating, Bobsleigh, or Bobsled, Downhill, Ski Jump, and Moguls. I think I have played this before, I just don't know, like, how long ago or whatever. Yeah, I have to uh, play it. A little bit more to get used to. It came with instructions too. And a little thing over here. I don't know what this is. Yep. That's it for that game. So let me just. It's an instruction booklet. There you go. And this was $5, as it says. Pretty good price, you know. Okay. Next one I got is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater from Nintendo 64. This was $4, as it says. I have it on PlayStation as well, and I used to play them a lot back in the day. Going all the way from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and then Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, but although I didn't have it for PlayStation, not till like later. And then Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 for PlayStation 2, which is also very good. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, good game too, and a great introduction. And then came Tony Hawk's Underground. Underground was really not bad though, but Pro Skater was definitely good, and the third one was pretty good. Second one's not bad, and the fourth one's good too. Yep, so I don't know if I might do some games on my channel, I'll have to see. There you go. And next, I got Legends of Wrestling 2 featuring the immortal Hulk Hogan on the front, along with Bruno Sammartino, Andre the Giant, I believe that's Rowdy Roddy Piper, Jerry the King Lawler, Bret Hart, Scott Steiner, and Sid Justice or Sid Vicious. I think it's Sid Vicious. Yeah, Sid Vicious on here and also has Eddie Guerrero and many others. Got like ladder matches, cage match, battle royal. The Mania is back as it says. And this was $6, another good reasonable price. And here is a game in here along with the booklet as well. Yeah, I know I have played this before. I have the first Legends of Wrestling also. I just like the second one more because I like the way the gameplay is and... The wrestlers that they have in it, too. Yep. So there is um, the next one, too. Next one. Now, this is the last one that I got. Now, this one, you know, I am really glad that I got this because this is a pretty good game. And I just want to say that this game is rare. It is a Sega Genesis game. You might know what it is if when I tell you that it's rare. I'm not going to like give away any spoilers, but I'm just saying, just like that. But I saw it for sale at a flea market, and I just said to myself, well, I've been looking for this for a while, so I just figure I'll get it. Alright, and this is the game. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Hyperstone Heist. Yep. This is a rare Sega Genesis game. It's a good game, actually, because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were very popular in the 1990s, as you know. This game, I believe, is, I want to say it's from 1992, though. Uh, it says 1991, according to here. So I guess that's what year it is, because they always made the movies. You know, the first one, then the second one, The Secret of the Ooze, and the third one, which is pretty much not bad, you know, just not bad. But I saw this there that was for sale. I asked the guy how much it was, but you probably would not believe me, but this was the price. It's probably reasonable to some of you. $60. Yes. $60 for this game. I mean, I know it seems like a lot of money, but I said to them, I know that this is a rare game. I've seen it on eBay, and I've seen it go for more than a hundred dollars you know 
and I've seen it possibly, I think, go for $1,000 with it all sealed up. You know, never been open. But I have played it already, and the game is great. I played it before on the computer. I got it on a website, which is no longer... Well, it's still there, but it won't let me download it. And here is the game, and then the booklet as well, and instructions. It's in good condition, no rips or anything, no tears. Now, like I said before, that this is definitely a really good game. They made another Sega Genesis game of the Ninja Turtles called Tournament Fighters, which features the turtles in it, but not the shredder. It just features all the Ninja Turtles and everyone else. And doesn't uh, and it does have Casey Jones and April O'Neil, I think. But in the Hyperstone Heist, you're just a Ninja Turtle battling against the Foot Clan and many other things as well, and a bunch of enemies, as you see on there. Yep, but it's better to play with uh, two players, as I said before. It's because you have a better chance at beating the game rather than just playing by yourself. Yeah. But I'm really glad that I got this game. I know that some of you may not be happy with the fact that I paid $60 for it. But it's still worth it. Yeah. Because the Ninja Turtles are definitely awesome. I'm still a big fan of them. And they got the new movie coming out in August. Mm -hmm. I know some people are not happy with that. But oh well. You never know. But anyway, that is my video game update for July 2014. I hope you all enjoyed the games that I showed you. And the last one too. Yep. It's a it's a pretty nice case for the way it looks as well. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but um <coughs> excuse me. But that's it for this video game update once again. So please like, comment, and subscribe. It is not a bad thing, it's a good thing, and I will see you all with more videos.